Uh, I'm John O'Rourke. Uh, I go to Northwest Missouri State, and uh, this evening we're going to make some goose bits. So the first step is to do your marinade. So uh, first we're going to start with these Diet Cokes. And just make sure you cover up all that meat and uh, Gonna put in this Worcestershire sauce. And then some of your seasonings, just kinda eyeball about a tablespoon for each of these. And then uh, you gotta mix that up. And then we're gonna let this sit while we go on our evening hunt tonight and finish the rest when we get back. We got back from our evening hunt, killed some birds. Uh, we pulled our marinade out of the fridge and over here we're cutting our goose breast in about half inch strips and then cutting that in half. And then we, Mike over here is dicing these jalapenos into circles like this and popping the cores out. And I'll be cutting the bacon and putting all that together and rolling it up with some cream cheese and then they'll go on the skewers and we'll put them in the oven after that, so. You sounded fantastic. Oh, just my whole life growing up, my dad always made these and just something I really enjoy. I think they're super good and after a hunt, it's just pretty easy after a simple marinade and it's just pretty easy work, so it turned out pretty good. Michael, whatever you do, do not rub your eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> so, thought about that honestly. Never had these before. Really? Yeah. First time. My dad used to always make these growing up because he did a lot crazy. He'd throw more stuff in there like a lot of chestnut, give some crunch and then he marinated his a lot different. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and by the way, it wasn't as much Worcestershire sauce as everybody thought. The bottle was like a quarter full and there was two Diet Cokes in there, so. A little more crunch. You ever put a glaze on them or anything? My Usually, like sometimes my dad will put honey on them after they're cooked just to give it a little sweetness too, so we'll, we'll, we'll try that tonight. <laughs> So after your oven is preheated to like 325, you're gonna throw these in there for 25 minutes. And about halfway, you're gonna wanna flip them over so you get both sides good. And then once that's up, your 25 minutes is up, you'll put it on broil. And uh, about five minutes to get extra crispy and then it should be good. Did you touch your eye? <laughs> Michael, whatever you do, do not rub your eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> so. Oh my god. 
Oh, He's having a hard time over here. <laughs> oh, no. We need some milk. We're going to throw these back in there for five minutes. Five more minutes. That's two cooking videos in a row. <laughs> Reed, Reed, when I was in uh, Illinois, he was crying after cutting the onions. <laughs> How do you get this out of your eye? Milk. Milk. Milk? So, so, yeah, swear. You're gonna put milk in your eye? eye? I, I promise you. That's Chateau, Chateau, man. I promise you. We use a Chateau. <laughs> Don't waste the Here, I need You want me to get you a cup? <laughs> He's opening his eye with this. <laughs> oh, I bet that feels good, huh? I've never seen somebody put milk in somebody's lap before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a first. You, it works. I, does it are really you messing work? with me? What do you mean am I messing with you? John. You're going to spill like spoiled milk tomorrow <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> it's milk! <laughs> Pull them out and check them real quick. And we're going to put our oven on low broil for about five minutes aside again. And then after that we should be good because this bacon should be pretty crispy and the goose is probably about done. So. <laughs> Definitely pretty strong. Oh, that's that's really good. I want to have my dad make it like that on his grill. 180 degrees. 75. I think it was. 175. I think it was 175. Three hours. Just a just a uh, stand up electric smoker. Uh, we have a rectech. It has three trays in it. These are done broiling and the bacon should be pretty crispy, so we're gonna set these on here and give them a little honey glaze quick and let them sit for a second and then they should be ready to eat. Just Mike wants round two with the jalapenos. Yeah, yeah you can grab those for me. Let's Let's try it. it. Pretty good. I like it. Mm. Everyone liked them, they turned out pretty good, so give the recipe a try and thanks for watching and go ahead and like and subscribe. Is he lying when he says he's not lying? They were no. they were pretty darn good. <laughs>